thinking about selling your MacBook or needing to pass on your MacBook to another user, well, how do you actually factory reset it for them? Well, let's show you how to do that next. All right, before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as hit the notification button. If you want to see more of these videos as a post. Well, let's go ahead and get started and join me on my screen. All right, so here it is. I have a MacBook in which we are going to reprovision. In other words, we're going to assign it to a different user here from IT Pro TV, but another user has had it before. So what we can actually try and do if we want to is take all the time to reset everything back to a factory default manually, or what we actually like to do if we need to deploy this relatively quickly is to just go through and do a factory reset of it. So let's go ahead and just do that one because that's probably what we need more than anything. A factory reset, of course, means that what we'll actually do is that if it's like the first time that you opened it up right from the box, and this is what we're actually expecting to end up seeing. All right, so the great thing is it's actually relatively easy and it actually probably works for just about every model that's pretty active today uh, that you're actually likely to see. So all we have to do from here, instead of going through and changing the background and doing all that stuff, is now we're actually going to restart the computer. So I'm gonna hit the restart button. It's gonna ask me if I wanna actually log back in. I'm not going to, and I'm going to go ahead and restart that. Now the screen may actually show up or not, but what we should see next is the Apple logo. Now, when we do that, we're gonna hold the uh, Command R key down, Command and R, and that way, when we hold that Command and R key down, we're waiting for the actual kind of little bar that actually goes across the bottom of that Apple key to go ahead and show up before we release it. So I'm simply holding it right now and I'm waiting for that to actually happen. So it may take just a little bit of time depending on your MacBook or your Mac, whatever uh, one that you're actually on, to actually do that. Now mine's actually gone ahead and done that. So in just a moment, we should actually see it head into recovery mode. And so there it is, and I've let go of that. And so as it reboots, we are now in what we call the Mac OS recovery mode, okay? Now it's gonna go through and actually find all the things that we need to, need to do to do this recovery. The first thing it's gonna ask for is, of course, an account if it's previously on there. And then I'm gonna select the help desk account for right now, type in my super secret password, and click continue. Once I'm logged on here, we can see that there's actually multiple different options that are available for us. Now, before we start this, this actually kind of leads us through the steps that we wanna take. If this particular computer then, uh, your MacBook, or whatever it is, like I said, your Mac device here, does have data on it that you need, you wanna go ahead and run your particular time machine if you can. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you might have to reboot and actually run that, because this one just says restore from time machine. But make sure you have a backup of all your data before you begin, in case you, know, you actually want it later on. All right, now, what we wanna do in the fact restore so we get rid of everything, including all of our data, is to come down here to where it says Disk Utility and hit Continue. And once we're actually inside of our Disk Utility, now we can see that there's a couple of different things for us to actually take a look at. So we're gonna be installing from this base OS system, but what I want to actually select is going to be the one that's labeled as Macintosh uh, HD here. Now, once I select that option, I want to select where it says Erase. Now, depending on the age of your particular computer, you may have different options here, but for us, we're gonna pick the, A, uh, the APFS, I can barely see it, uh, the APFS. From this point, I'm simply going to hit Erase. And that will go ahead and erase that entire disk for us where we've installed the actual uh, operating system and users already have accounts on them. So once that's actually done and completed here, we can actually watch it a little bit more. Notice it's actually removing any pre-boot uh, options, all of the actual different directories uh, that are actually on there for us. And once it does that, then we can follow through another step, which is, of course is gonna be installing the operating system at that point. So as this actually takes its time, we can show the details behind that. And this way you can see, let me zoom back out, that currently is creating the APSF volume and is setting the mount state is what we're actually taking a look at there, okay? 
All right, so that's actually going to take just a few moments, but we should actually be at the next process in just a moment here, where it actually does tell us the operation is successful. I'm going to click Done. Now, if I go ahead and close out of the disk utility, it brings me back to this menu. Now that the actual hard drive is completely erased, I can select to reinstall the Mac OS Big Sur operating system and click Continue. From this point, it is simply following the menu and the options that are actually available to me right here to go ahead and continue the installation process. And from that point on, we should see the installation begin. And we, of course, will agree to this statement. We have to select the actual drive here. You may have multiple drives. Usually, I like to put it on the original drive that came with the device itself, of course. And you may see logical drives that are there, too. But let me go ahead and click Continue. And now you actually see where it gives me this time limit of 2 hours and 20 minutes actually remaining. So that, of course, in terms of the install time, will depend on the CPU and the RAM on your machine to actually give it the performance that it actually needs to. So this one's going to take a little bit of time. Now, when this is completely done, it's going to reboot. And when it actually finishes reboot, what we should see is just like you opened up the MacBook the very first time, where it begins to ask you a series of questions to set up the remaining process here. And from that point, you actually will have factory reset your particular Mac. All right, so that means you now know how to go ahead and reset your Mac to factory settings. If you like this video, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this, as well as remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you for joining me.